Hey YouTube, welcome back guys. So today I'm going to uh, show you guys a tutorial on how to uh, download your app. This is uh, ELM327, the Wi-Fi edition. There's a Bluetooth edition as well, but uh, today we're going to go over this uh, Wi-Fi edition. And we're going to be using the Torque Pro app. Today we're going to download the Torque Pro app. Since we're going to monitor the second generation uh, hybrid battery, we're going to see each other block, see if the, any other battery is going bad or anything like that. So let's go ahead and then connect this in right now. So you're going to connect this to the OBD2 uh, connector. Okay, so you need to locate your OBD2 for the Toyota second uh, generation. It is uh, under the dash. Alright, so I'm going to do the screen recording. You're going to go to your uh, Google Play Store. And then you're going to search for Torque. T-O-R-Q-U-E. So this is a light edition, but unfortunately the light edition does not allow you to monitor your uh, hybrid battery. So you will need to go download the Torque Pro right there. And that is uh, $4.95. Since I downloaded mine already, I'm going to click on uh, Open. Alright, so it's a uh, permission request. Hi, Torque need to ask for permission. So things like Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, OBD2 adapters, loading and saving dashboard files and GPS based Based the uh, sensor work properly. So you gotta press OK. Uh, I'm gonna use allow all time, or you could click on allow only while using the app. Allow Tor to access photo, media, and file on your device. Allow. So it says uh, profile not set up. So if you want, you can set it up. But uh, let me uh, press the ACC on real quick. And you're going to go to uh, setting. Click on the setting gear icon right there. You're going to click on setting. And then you will go to uh, OBD, OBD2 adapter setting. Uh, connection type. This is a Wi-Fi, so you gotta go to click on Wi-Fi. And now you gotta go to your uh, setting on your phone. Go to your settings. Go to your uh, Wi-Fi connection or connections. And make sure you're not connecting to your home Wi-Fi. You will need to uh, connect it to the Wi-Fi OBD2, okay? And click on it. And then your OBD2 uh, adapter should blink like that. So just allow it to sync. Now try to go back to your app, your Torque. Let me see if I saw the car, what's gonna happen now. 
So I run the engine, uh, you can see me uh, running the engine, so that means uh, connected. Alright, in order to uh, set up the hybrid battery uh, icon and everything, you need to click on the setting gear again. And then uh, click on settings. And then we're going to click on Manage Extra PID uh, Sensor, which is right here. And then on the upper right hand side, you see the three dot. Click on that. And then we're going to add the predefined set. And we're going to click on the Prius second generation. If you have a Prius uh, third generation, then you will click on that. Or if you have the Prius, or you have the Prius PHB, then click on that. So this is the second generation. And then uh, now we're going to choose. Normally, when I look for the hybrid battery, the block one through uh, fourteen. So we're going to scroll down. so many things that you can add though so so for example this is the hybrid uh, HV battery pack uh, block one right here so you can edit or DD or whatever that you want but uh, since we stick this already we're gonna go back to the uh, main screen okay real-time information and then over here, we're going to find a page that is uh, blank. And then we're going to hold it on the screen. And then we're going to add display. So you can use any of those uh, dial that you like. So let's choose a half dial uh, needle. And then now you're going to go select the Prius, the block, hybrid block, hybrid battery uh, block one, all the way to 14. So it's going to take a while. So there you go. Okay. If you want, you can see everything right now. And then we're going to click on tiny or small or medium, whatever size that you want to choose. I'm going to choose tiny. And then gonna move it to my upper left hand corner right there. You can move the display and everything, so I'm gonna click on remove display because uh, it's not right within the screen. So let's go ahead and then add a second one. And then add display again. Gonna do the half dial needle and then we're gonna scroll all the way down to add the block number two and then gonna move it right next to there. Okay, and now we're gonna do that for the rest of them. If you want to add, you could also add like an auxiliary battery so you know your auxiliary battery if it's good or not. But you just need to scroll uh, each of the item, whatever that you decide to add, or like cooling uh, temperature to monitor your cooling coolant. So here's the auxiliary battery right here. I'm gonna click on it and add a tiny. So I'm gonna put it on right now, bottom right here. So now right now it shows a uh, 14.0 volt, which is uh, pretty okay. Let's go ahead and click. Press and hold, add a display. Let's see, auxiliary battery. You can see the converter uh, temperature right now is at 82.4. Of 
crank position is at 64.952 degree. So yeah, with the Pro, you got so many uh, more information that you could uh, do with it. So we'll try to troubleshoot it. So there's a HV battery air intake temperature too. Okay, so you check the air intake temperature. So it shows a uh, hybrid ba HV battery block count, 14 numbers. So that's why I told you 28 divided by two. So you got 14. And then there's a HV battery block highest uh, voltage, highest uh, voltage. And then there's a HV battery uh, charge by kilowatts. And then there's also a HV battery temperature one, temperature two, temperature uh, three. Well, anyway, you kind of get an idea. Uh, just click on it and add it to it. Anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell for notification, or uh, drop any comments on below. Thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully this will help you guys to uh, monitor your battery. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Like always, peace.